How did you know this? I didn't know at all. The Coast Guard gets its due in the finest hours. A rescue attempt so daring, so mind-blowing, it's actually hard to believe, but it is based on an incredible true story. Now, before we chat with the stars, take a look in this footage you won't see anywhere else. Miriam scared of the water. I don't know how she's gonna date a guy in the Coast Guard. You know, we all get scared out there. I'm not afraid of the water, Bernie. It scares me at night, that's all. You can't see what's underneath. Just more water. Station Chatham, you copy? I repeat, conditions hazardous. We've got an 18 foot fracture in our hull. How do you want us to proceed, over? This movie, to me, felt like something that could have been made in the 1950s. It had that sensibility <clears throat> in the best possible way. Mm. That's one of the things that I was most attracted by the stories that I think uh, many of these bigger films nowadays have a certain mm. cynicism or self-awareness, and there was just an old-fashioned earnestness to the storytelling. There was um, kind of a, I don't know, a Jimmy Stewart quality to good old Bernie, and um, I felt like we were making a 50s studio picture. <laughs> did, did, yes, Ben, did you feel that way? Sure, yeah. The quality of men that, that, that we're representing in this, uh, I think, it, uh, are based on the very fabric of this country. It's, it's, it's not guys who pat themselves on the back. It's not people who run to social media to celebrate themselves. It's, it's people who do their job. You know, they're saying this is going to be the biggest storm that ever hit the East Coast. It's going to be hurricane strength in an hour. Compass point your home. Why'd you wait so long before you said yes to going out on a date? I just didn't know if you'd be attracted to me. You know exactly how I pictured you. Yeah? Better. <laughs> The heroics of these two men is just amazing. And they don't really know how strong they are until they step up. We all live and we all die. Wait! Hold on! These wind machines, you can't imagine how big they are, and these rain machines, and you're inside. Uh, it's basically like an airplane hangar, but it's been abandoned. It was an old boatyard. And they've built something that's like the m most gigantic swimming pool you've ever seen. And inside of it that they've put in, uh, uh, they've built basically half of an oil tanker. And you stand on there, and that's where we shot. And every day, so it's you're outside more or less. Uh, it does have a roof, but it's, it's, it's still cold in there. And um, they blow the wind at you, and they pound you with the rain. And, um, you know, it would be easy to complain about, but it's, it, A, it's just water, and B, you know, it, it sort of helps. It would have been harder if they said, ah, we're going to put the rain in later, it'll be digital. Don't just act like you're wet, act like you're cold, you know? <laughs> the actors all get it right, making this an edge-of-your-seat action adventure. Look for the finest hours in your real-time theater.